most important thing that I'll bring back from this conference is that innovation is worldwide. It's not just in one country or another. It's everywhere and it has to be everywhere in order for it to be successful. Indotown is sort of like a uh, intense series of uh, suggestions of how you should innovate and sometimes how you should not innovate. What do I think the importance of an event like this is? Dialogue, interaction, knowledge, um, so many things that are lacking uh, in the world today. I mean, I flew 8,000, 9,000 miles to do this and it was worth every minute of it because I haven't seen very many things like this. The TED conference, there are some things that are like, but they're not enough. And I'd like to see something like this grow and possibly migrate to other parts of the world so that other people could uh, take part and enjoy it. At Pixar, we, I, we have so many different people working for us, uh, you know, contributing all their different kind of perspectives and how they get around a problem. And, and then, to see a group like this come together and there's just so many different uh, perspectives coming together. I, that, that's, just a, that's just a huge impression on me and a very lasting one. Innovation requires doing things in a different way, requires variation, requires experimentation, requires sometimes making a mistake which then appears to be good for something else or something, but it requires doing things in different ways. Most of them will fail, but some of them will lead to innovation. It turns out that as a species, um, we're actually pretty young on this planet, and as it comes to sort of winning the innovation award, uh, we're actually really actually quite bad at innovation believe it or not. Um, there are a lot of other species on the planet that really kind of have beat us to the punch. And if they had taken out patents long ago, we would be owing them a lot of money. I was on television Monday morning before I flew here Monday night, and everyone asked me about Kodak. What happened? Why? Why did such a company that was so great go bankrupt? I mean, they had the only product that people would actually run back into a burning building to save. The third thing I'm going to try and convince you of, and it's probably the most important one, culture is more powerful than strategy. And it's really important. In an economic downturn, everybody's trying to come up with a new strategy thinking, trying to think their way to success. It just doesn't work. The only sustainable point of difference for any organization, any sports team, any nation, is culture. And when I say culture, I mean the way we get things done around here. Anyone can copy your strategy, no one can copy your culture.